Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Drop In CEO podcast coming to you live today. I'm Deb Coviello, and just week after week, I am so inspired by the opportunity to share with you some of my insights that hopefully you take away with yourself and bring forward, and potentially they inspire you to be the most amazing leader that you can be. And just know if you like this conversation, please, please will catch me again on the podcast subscribe to the podcast subscribe to the YouTube channel where this is showing now as well as other amazing insights for you but just know I show up week after week because I truly care about the leaders out there that are in positions of c-suite leadership impacting many many people but also those people whether you aspire to a c-suite role or not you just want to have a voice at the table or greater impact I am here to help you navigate those challenges with confidence and confidence is happens to be the topic we're talking about today. And just before I got on this call, I was meeting with a, a new quality leader that I reached out into my network and they said, yes, let's get to know each other. And oh my, they had such confidence uh, in their career, both now and in the past, whether they had obstacles thrown at them, they always took the high road and always sought, um, you know, the opportunities versus wallowing in what did happen or what could have been. And so the reason why I'm showing up this week is to talk to you about how to avoid losing your confidence. And mind you, I can't keep you from losing your confidence. It's a natural human response to situations. But what I hope is that I can impart some ideas with you that should you get to those crossroads in time where you are starting to feel that confidence erode, I want to give you some ideas, some tips and tricks to be able to move yourself forward. And just to give this a little bit more context, I do see so many of you, people in my network, people that are lurking and watching my content and making some comments that, that sometimes you are in non optimal situations and your confidence deteriorates. And I, I hate that. I really, really hate that. And mind you, I'm not perfect. I have been there before. I've been in a situation, it didn't go my way. I'm not sure I'm being valued. I'm not achieving my fullest potential. Am I in the right place? We all have these ideas of doubt. But what I want to do is be able to um, first let, help you to recognize that you do have value and to not hold that back. I want to give you some ideas today to recognize that value and bring you to a place where you can bring that forward and gain back your confidence. Now, these situations I'm going to share with you, I'm going to be sharing with you a few scenarios that may be common to some of your experiences. And I do want you to think about when you've had these moments of mm, you weren't the most confident. And how did you respond to the situation? But I'm going to share with you what I think may be some valuable ways to acknowledge the situation, how you're feeling. We don't want to dismiss any of your feelings, but how to regain that confidence and be the leader that you're meant to be. So let me just paint a few of these scenarios and some questions or thoughts for you to consider. So the culture and leadership in the organization has changed and is no longer aligned with your values or what you want to do or had planned to do when you started there. And you can't seem to be able to move forward with your initiatives. You help, feel helpless to change it and you feel your value and impact is less, aka you are losing your confidence. Sound familiar? I hope you don't often feel this way. But if you've ever been in that situation where the landscape has changed, and that is usually the number one thing, you can't always keep things the same. You've got to move on the people change the situation changes, change is a constant. And when it's misaligned with your values, your impact, the confidence erosion happens. But here's a couple things to think about. Ask yourself, did you change? Did you change? And you don't have to. But did you change? Were you the cause of the problem or losing the confidence? Maybe not necessarily. And do you need to change within the environment? It is possible that given a new environment, you might have to learn some new tips, tricks, ways of working, ways to talk in this new environment so that people can recognize your value. Again, that's the outcome is recognizing your value and being able to make an impact. That's the essence of confidence. 
And you still have to ask yourself, am I the same person who's provided value to customers and internal colleagues? And if the answer is yes, that you have not changed, you are still the same person. But maybe the environment is not conducive for you to fully realize your value and have the same impact. You might want to then start thinking about what you have in your control and what is not. And do you have the ability to maybe have other people in the organization realize your value and make an impact? Maybe you just need to kind of make a slight shift to the left or to the right, or maybe go a lateral in another direction in order to be able to regain that confidence with people that actually love what you do. And the other thing is, if you have to stay where you are, can you gain joy maybe elsewhere? you can't change the environment, you're not ready to change yourself because it's against your values as they're an external organization or community or your family where you can turn your energy because you know they value your wisdom, your insight, and what you can provide because then maybe temporarily you will regain your confidence because you're with your people that you can support and help. So again, just think about it. You might be able to regain that confidence in the scenario where the environment has changed. Think about it. Now, well, I'll give you another scenario. <laughs> and this one I've heard from other people. The, si the ship is sinking. You can see the change coming and you're helpless to stop it. It could be a layoff. It could be a sell-off or a closure. And everyone is seeing the writing on the wall. And in that process, you say, what can I do? I can't change it. And you lose your confidence, mind you. I am being a little bit dramatic here, but I know these situations are happening to you out there. So let's just talk a little bit. I'm, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hopefully you're talking back in your head about, yep, Deb, I get it. <laughs> I've tried that and maybe I could be a little bit different and be confident in my approach. So again, I'll come back to some of the things that I'm talking about. So again, the ship is sinking. But you are still valued as a human being. And while you might feel helpless, here are a few things that you can do. You could change your energy rather than to fester and focus on what is not in your control, but focus on the people in your care and show them that you care about them and do everything to build their confidence and value. There is great value in building up others. And in the process, when you see the impact, your confidence in being able to do something in a situation where you feel like you can't is very, very valuable and elevates that confidence. And of course, you know, try to seek a plan B. If you can't change the course of the current situation, what options do you have so you don't fall victim to the circumstances? You could and I'll tell you, you should be ramping up your network or call a mentor or call people from your old company that know you and know your value. Yeah, you, they will remember you for the impact you have made. And they're a great group of people to boost your confidence. And in the process, you might create pull for your persona for people to want to refer you to people that will value you again. There's great value in networking, making those connections that maybe you have not had with people in five or 10 years, reach out because they may be just as, I haven't talked to that person in five and 10 years, be the bolder one, reach out to those people in the process of creating human connection. You're going to feel good about that interaction. You're going to feel good about yourself. You're going to feel good about how you maybe made that other peep or person feel based on the memories you have. And in the process, you become relevant, you become memorable, and you create something that is in your control, a valuable network that can maybe pull you out of that sinking ship and focus your energy in places that you can provide value and boost that confidence. Sound familiar? Do you know somebody in that situation? Could you share this episode with them to maybe give them a little bit of a boost of confidence because you know they absolutely need it. Now I'll tell you about this situation. It happened to me. <laughs> it happens to all of us. You have been let go and you don't know what to do. You still have great value after 25 or 30 years experience. But sometimes you think I can't provide value. I am too old. 
and I don't want you to adopt that narrative, but you might say, who is going to hire me? And you temporarily lose your confidence that anybody's going to want you. You think of yourself as a transaction, people are going to go for people cheaper than you, but you got to flip your mindset. You have great value. So here's some tips that if you've fallen victim to the situation, again, it happens to the best of us. Think about this, pause and do nothing and reflect on the successes that you've had, what experiences that you can bring forward into the future. Just give yourself a little bit of respect and some time to think about what have you done that's been amazing in the past and who and what situations would value it now. Now, I may have skipped over this, but I will tell you a little bit, please. It's okay to feel sad for a little bit. Your emotions are a natural extension of the chemistry and the electricity in your body based on a situation that is, that is happening to you. You have to respect and acknowledge it and be with those emotions a little bit. Because if you push them aside and ignore them and say, I'm going to move through this crisis, this issue, it's going to linger there. It's going to fester. You're going to have memories or things that might actually hold back your mindset. So feel sad for the chapter that is closing, but minimize what you have lost and think about all the impact you have had. Again, it's all thinking about the positive. You have changed lives. You've impacted customers. You've done well for your family or community. Think about all the good yet you have done and close the chapter on what, you know, on the past and think about what you could do moving forward. Now, this is a, next step is an extension of it. Write down your successes, your stories and the people you've impacted. Because this is all part of networking. When you reintroduce yourself into the workforce, meeting with colleagues and old connections, you want to be able to tell stories. Because when you can talk about yourself and people are engaged and they say, oh my God, I can relate to that or what have you. Just talking about it, oh my God, that's such a boost to your ego, to your confidence. And then you're going to be with people that say, I get you, I understand you, high five for how you got through that. Make sure you write down all of these stories because the coming forward is about sharing those stories with your network, with people, and they will value you. Now, a couple, another few tips before I bring this to a close. Network within your community and actively not only people that you do know, but actively find people that don't know you. Because there is a possibility from the people from your past, they may only know your persona, there's a lot of P's in there, there you may know your persona from what you did in the past, and maybe judgment from the environment that you were in. That is one piece of data. And you may know, they say, you know, but I was worth so much more, but it well, didn't fully realize my potential. Now start talking to people that don't know you, that maybe have a similar background, but it's a new acquaintance. And you will find that people will look at you for face value and say, wow, that was amazing insight. Wow, I really value your experience. People are going to immediately boost you up because they see you here and now for the value you bring. And it's going to reaffirm the fact that, yeah, I, I did a lot and I can do so much more. So again, seek people that you don't know because they are going to be a morale and confidence booster. And all of these things that I'm telling you are going to move you away from feeling bad and what could have been to pulling you forward into what will be, into what will be and who you will continue to be and provide value. And all of this will help you feel in control and your confidence is going to return. Now, it's not that easy. I know that. <laughs> it takes time, but I would love for you to replay this video, this podcast episode when it actually airs later on. This is going to be live on YouTube right away. I would love for you to pull this up again and reflect on some of these scenarios and some of these tips to bring you forward because really I show up here and offer this free advice for you because I really care about you. I want you to succeed. I want you to get unstuck. That is one of my purposes is to help leaders get unstuck stuck and be able to live more purposeful lives. So if you could do this on your own, I am so grateful. I would love for you to reach out to me. Tell me you saw this episode, you listened to it, and you were able to apply it. But the greater gift is if you can share it with at least one other person who could value this, who may be stuck and can listen to this and maybe move forward to regaining their confidence. 
I do hope it was helpful, but if you just need a little bit more time, I always, always put myself out there. If you need a, a listening partner to your unique situation, and maybe I can impart some thoughts based on the value I see in front of me, book 30 minutes with me. You can do that by going to my website, dropinceo.com, and contact me. We'll set up 30 minutes to talk or reach out to me on LinkedIn, direct message me, drop in CEO, Deborah A. Coviello. You can find me let's have a conversation. I would love to get to know you and just see if we can create some value from that 30 minute interaction. I love to collaborate, create value and help you to regain your confidence. So I want to thank you for dropping in on the podcast being brought to you live this week. I love the live of forum. You never know who's going to show up. And what am I actually going to say, <laughs> despite being scripted here? I do hope it was valuable. And until we meet, and I do hope we meet or connect sometime. Until then, I just want to wish you well, and much success. And until we meet again, take care now.